what's up cool lemon all right for today's video we are going to talk about how to be an f2p god all right so tip number one you need to know how to spend your diamonds so let's start with the ro shop so this this uh, everything that i will say should be your priority so priority number one is the feathers if you have uh, the time and space feathers or nature divine feathers you should buy this weekly what if you're playing on a newer server and you don't have this so your priority should be the day feather and the night feather because these feathers these two feathers you can still uh, use it on late game because of the pdef and the ignore pdef or mdef and next priority is the mora coins because having uh, a lot of mora coins and starry mora coins will increase your enchantment stats and third important is the statue box this one optional statue box you need to buy this weekly and if you don't have statue box on your uh, diamond shop you should buy a gacha ticket we because we all know that uh, later into the game as we progress we they are keep on releasing a better costumes so the older ones will just get replaced by the newer costumes so you need to save all your gacha tickets for the upcoming costumes all right so the fifth uh, priority is the rare card coupon you need to buy this weekly for so you can uh, redeem purple card later on the wishing shop so every time you, you draw a rare card you will get some uh, points here that you can redeem later all right so tip number two you need to learn how to convert your diamonds into zeni because in the early stage of the game uh, zeni is very important so how are you going to do that simply by just buying this luxury card album because if you if you buy this and then you sell it to the market you will get around uh, uh, 70 to 90 uh, thousand zeni so you can bid your the card that you need in the early stage of the game and next is you need to know what blue cards to buy but you only need to buy the, the ones that is really hard to get for example injustice another thing you should skip buying the cards that is easy to get for example the horong card and if you have some extra diamonds you can just purchase a card coupon this will draw you a high chance of getting a horong card and horong cards of course is a very useful up until now in the late game and lastly you need to sell everything that you are not using for zeni for example i have this i have this green card i will just sell it sell it sell it for zeni and also i don't need this uh, carnium i can just sell it i don't need this uh, bradium sell it also the carrot diamond you just sell it in the auction shop you should not bid for the headwear uh, blueprint because this will just delay your uh, progress if you start buying this you can just buy it later into the game if no one is bidding all right so uh, tip number three you need to skip all your uh, priority list on the diamond shop if there is an event so what do I mean by that if there is a Ronopoly for example on our server we have the Ronopoly event so we need to buy uh, Ronopoly dice on diamonds which I already bought uh, a few weeks ago so I need to spend all my diamonds for that so if you now if you are lacking of diamonds what what are the things that you should skip from buying on the diamond shop maybe you can skip buying the optional statue box also on the diamond shop you need 
you should skip buying your uh, refinement stones because this will delay your progress so do not buy anything here you can just because you can get this from events so even uh, as you can see on my uh, refinements I'm having a very good refinements on my equipments even if I'm not buying all the refinement stones I only buy refinement stones on the diamond shop if I have extra all right so number four you need to know your priority on the point shop all right so your priority on the social shop should be uh, this one the ash of uh, the lot for upgrading our statue so right now I'm, I'm currently buying refinement stone here because accessory refinement stone is really hard to get so I need to buy this from the point shop so on the point shop you can just skip buying titles because titles will just not boost your stats this is the most uh, unuseful stats that you can get from PvP because there is a limit on on the title stats right so also you can buy this one the malangdo snowflake here this is very important and as you can see I'm buying the sunshine kiwi because I already leveled up my mount to level 40 so I'm planning to max all these five stats for my mount uh, I'm only upgrading my mount by buying the advanced kiwi and whenever I have a wild kiwi I will just sell it for Zenny alright so next on your priority you are assisting your friend on uh, some daily events or weekly events which I don't do you can also buy gacha tickets here and you can just skip buying ash of the lot here because this is really expensive and for the Academy of course you need to buy you need to buy rare coupon and gacha ticket here gacha ticket for a PvP shop of course your priority here is not the title your priority is the Mora coin and starry Mora coin but I'm still not buying it because it's only Tuesday and of course the betting shop I love betting shop betting shop uh, will reset next month so as you can see as you can see I'm still having 23,000 uh, tokens that I am not using because I'm waiting for next month so I can buy time and space feather light and dark and optional statue box but uh, next month I will only buy uh, light and dark maybe all right <clears throat> and for the access accessory shop you need to buy this weekly for your refinements this is the only uh, refinement stone that you will use uh, weekly so do not spend your diamonds for uh, buying refinement stones if you are lacking of diamonds you can just sell your uh, MVP fragments to convert it to diamonds and as you can see I don't have much diamonds on my account I always use all my diamonds weekly so do not save diamonds weekly tip number five is the moonlit arena you need to play moonlit arena weekly because on the moonlit shop you can buy feathers here the weekly feathers and uh, nexus starry mora coins and uh, optional statue box also if you need to upgrade your statue you need to buy the loot hammer and by reaching uh, by reaching a certain rank here which is 3500 you can get a rare sigil optional box so you can upgrade your floating protection and endless nightmare so that two sigils are the most important uh, orange sigil the floating protection and endless nightmare so tip number six the sigil priority 
by following my tips so you should have a lot of zenny so your priority on a purple sigil should only be the purple ones so do not buy any uh, blue sigils but if you if you're having a hard time uh, buying sigils from the market shop maybe you can buy here uh, silver soul but I do not recommend uh, buying too much uh, for buying too much uh, blue sigils maybe you can just buy one or two because it's really easy to upgrade by just playing uh, Juperus ruins weekly but uh, the purple ones are really hard to max out and uh, the purple sigils are uh, very helpful on uh, the late game so you need to buy sweep breakout here all the PV all the sigils that has a pvp sweep breakout uh, surging protection gate of suffering and immortal body all right and tip number seven is uh, do not uh, bid expensive card on the market oh they are selling vocal cards here so like like for example we have here the vocal card this is going to be very expensive uh, later because this is a mini card and it's really hard to get so do not bid for this or the Minorus card do not bid for Minorus card as an F2P you can just bid it later into the game if you maxed out all your uh, blue cards all or if you don't have any uh, purple cards so do not buy for Minoru's card and scale worker card that is very uh, that is very expensive card and tip number eight of course you need to join an active guild to progress faster so you can have uh, free nyan berries to, to the players that spend uh, money into the game and of course you need to find uh, friends in-game friends as an ftp i'm i'm a solo player i don't have i don't have my real life friends playing this game so so i just find some friends here and play and we play uh, together uh, daily to progress faster and tip number nine do not spend your zeny on refinements do not rage on doing refinements like some some players they are spending all their zenies to buy refinement stones to just to get uh, uh, plus 15 or plus 18 don't do that because that will delay your progress so the healthiest way to refine is just to only do it twice a day or twice a week like before when we don't have that much resources I only refine uh, two times a week but right now uh, we're in the late game they are the the developers are giving a lot of refinement stones on events so I do refine my equipment uh, two times a day so as you can see I have this healthy uh, refines on my equipments which is uh, which is uh, plus 15 and some are plus 18 all right and tip number 10 is the nexus so to progress faster you need to buy this type e uh, module box weekly because even as an ftp your nexus your nexus module should be uh, 5 plus 2 and 5 plus 1 plus 1 right uh, on my defensive on my defensive nexus i'm having 5 plus 2 and 5 plus 1 plus 1 and on my attack i have uh, 5 plus 2 uh, i mean 5 plus 1 plus 1 and 4 plus 3 but later later uh, later if i upgrade my type e nexus to level 5 i will just change it to 5 plus 2 and 5 plus 1 plus 1 all right so on your nexus you need to sell everything that you don't need here like as you can see i don't have much extra nexus on my nexus 
so these are the only nexus that i am using if you are not using your nexus you, you should uh, dismantle it so you can upgrade your other nexus all right so that's it for our uh, video and if you need uh, more guides like this please let me know in the comment section and see you on the next video bye bye